Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta taking a look at the latest update in our tropics today. Not only looking at the near term, but also let's take a look at the long term and where something could be forming out of the Caribbean in about a week or two here. So first off, Lorenzo, that is our current active name storm system located just uh, well towards the east of Bermuda. It's out there in the central Atlantic. It really is struggling. You see here if we zoom right in on satellite picture, um, it, it's got a lot of drier influence, a lot of shear i'm not worried in fact if you take a look at our long range guidance here i marked with an l where lorenzo is here as we go ahead through friday into saturday over towards sunday it kind of rounds the bermuda high but yeah it stays very very weak in fact the bigger topic is that nor'easter off of the east coast which is continuing to linger here it's got some big girth on it and continues to kick up some rough waves all up and down the uh, northeast coastline and even some swells as far south as Florida. But if we take a look actually at the broader satellite picture, you, got, you can see Lorenzo getting absorbed with a passing trough towards north and that big trough dipping in down behind our nor'easter here. And this is important because it does go to show that by this time of year in mid-October, we start to change our attention from the eastern Atlantic closer to the Caribbean as you can get these systems <clears throat> developing and basically pushing south of these passing troughs and see here with our two-week outlook yeah these climate prediction center is saying there is a moderate chance of something developing out there in the Caribbean in fact let's just jump over to the Google DeepMind this is kind of an interesting model it's based on Google's long-range AI the, the weather lab here and if we scroll this ahead you can see as we go ahead through the 22nd to the 23rd over towards the 24th and 25th it does show a cluster there just east of the Yucatan. And this is basically the AI model saying, based on all the conditions we typically see in the atmosphere at this point, this time of year, that something could be developing out there in the Caribbean. And that model's actually been handling these storms pretty well since its inception just here recently over the past few months. So it is interesting how the new weather models are kind of developing these storm systems and how accurate they have been as of late. Um, definitely something to get in deeper topics about, but at least for now, this is the GFS. So our numerical guidance kind of agreeing with this same type of output. When you get several models, the ECMW off is almost on the same input here too. Um, get several models, even two weeks out, all agreeing somewhat on something. That's when here in any meteorologist is going to start to raise their eyebrows. They're not saying that something absolutely is going to happen, but they are saying, you know, it, it could get interesting. And there is that increasing potential here uh, as we look ahead over the upcoming week. Uh, if you think, well, it already feels like autumn and we it's, hurricane season should be over. Do remember, this is just looking back to the year 2000. We do get strong storms in and around the state of Florida. This is actually showing every hurricane within 200 miles of Jacksonville since the year 2000 from mid-October to the end of November. So they happen. Uh, so with that said, if you have any questions or anything like that, always shoot me a message. You can post down below my whole point of this, not the hype. Give you a nice, informed update of the latest information out here in the Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.